and the players getting reacquainted prior to the tip. A pretty loose atmosphere out there. The Bulls are looking to defeat their Eastern Conference rival going into this one. Great to have you with us, everybody, live on 2K Sports alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. I'm Kevin Harlan. The starting fives for our game. Here are tonight's starting lineups. Someone will be keeping an eye on, of course, LeBron James. I'll tell you what, LeBron can absolutely soar in for the finish. I remember last. Oh, 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 ridiculous! What a move! Pour it down that time. <laughs> now, Clark, Clark, that is just ridiculous. Absolutely filthy. Oh, I don't remember on. ever seeing a dunk like that in the game. I certainly can't remember the last time I saw oh, it. Oh man, that was just amazing. You know, as the Bulls have been one of the tougher teams the last few seasons, they've done it through dominating the glass and tough defense. Had some injuries to deal with last year, but at the core, this is a defensive-minded team. That's why they're always competitive. The offensive rebound. The kick out to Rose. Oh, good on the three. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Eric Spolster. And what'd you find out, Doris? As they get ready to face the Bulls for the first time, we talked about what makes playing the Bulls so difficult. He told me they are one of the most sound defensive teams in the league, and there are going to be stretches where points just don't come easy. We have to make sure we don't get frustrated by that and keep on chugging along. Bulls defense, definitely a concern for them, guys. All right, Doris. This is and the Bulls in the top five in offensive rebound rate last season. Yeah, for a team that struggled to produce points with Derrick Rose out the entire season, those extra possessions are just so valuable. And it's no surprise, really, the way this team hits the boards. Tom Thibodeau always getting peak effort out of his guys. Noah once again had a really solid season, but his field goal percentage numbers dropped from where they had been the past few years. I think part of it was not having Derrick Rose on the floor, and then also he was hurt. Plantar fasciitis bothered him some. Not having Rose, I think, led to Noah forcing the issue a bit. Well, sometimes when you're at a height disadvantage, that's the way to attack. Go right at your defender. Rose passes to Butler. Rose defended by Chalmers. Rose attacking, hits the jump hook. Rose has got his second basket of the night. Oh, and speaking of Noah's um, dip into his finishing numbers, you wonder if his injuries played a part in it. Yeah, Coach Thibodeau rode him pretty hard. Career high in minutes. In fact, second most per game among centers in the NBA last season. And you remember he had the, the foot injury during the playoffs. So he's always had some health issues, but he's battled through them. Are you surprised that he's become the warrior that he's become in the NBA? Not really, Kevin. He was a winner at Florida, a guy who loved to play. He's got a lot of passion for the game where well, they've settled into their offense very quickly here today. Yeah, they're zoned in, making the most out of their possessions here. Wade with it. Butler covering. Wade kicks to Chalmers. Back to Wade. Bosh, that's the pick for Wade. It's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. You know, Heat head coach Eric Spolster worked his way up from the very bottom in that organization. I mean, he got his start as a video coordinator and through years of hard work and dedication has really become an outstanding coach. Rose dishes to Butler and Noah backs down. The pass to Rose. Feeds to Boozer. Misses from close range. The Heat trail by seven. And back to coach Eric Spolster as a guy who got his start as a video coordinator, picking the game apart. Steve, he's very comfortable with the new advanced stat movement, analytics in he the is. NBA. Yeah, and I've had a chance to speak with him quite a bit. He says that the way they use advanced stats is just a, as a conversation piece in the coaching room. Uh, their, their analytics department will bring them various information, and it will force them to ask questions. It's a very healthy uh, for a coaching staff to do. Wade, right side, and Lou Dang gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Mm, tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happened. Chicago making some changes. Gibson comes in for Joakim Noah. That's Dunleavy in for Carlos Boozer. Wade against Butler. 
Wade drives in, inside. Here's Anderson, and it's blocked by Dang. Heinrich passes to Dunleavy. And again, Chicago, no good. Last outing for Chicago, they won that game against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. That was a heck of a performance for them offensively. There were some stretches there where it just seemed like everything was falling for them. And it wasn't by accident they shot it that well. Their ball movement was excellent. That was the key to me. A lot of people picked the Heat to run away with the East last year, and they were right on target. They were just so far and away better than any other team in the East that you just didn't see them losing much during the course of the season. Ray Allen has checked in for Miami. Norris Cole comes in for Mario Chalmers. Butler kicks to Heinrich. Gibson. Six to shoot. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that athletic play. Incredible. Wow. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying hard to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Mark? <laughs> well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense, that's for sure. As you said, the Heat clinched the East pretty early and were able to rest up a lot of their players down the stretch. Speed never easy to win when everyone expects you to... Uh, to win games, but the Heat didn't seem phased by the pressure at all. Well, this is a championship team, and I, I think once you win that first title, you get a, a different level of confidence, and that showed last season as Miami rolled to their second title in a row. Dang attacking. Heinrich from outside. That one goes. Count it. What a start they've gotten off to. A big lead for them, and we're not even out of the first quarter yet. And it's not just their hot offense here. I mean, they're playing very strong defense, too, guys. To the paint. And there's Battier. That's good on the assist from Cole. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. That's going to open things up for them on the perimeter going forward, Clark. Dang goes in. Battier on him. Dang kicks to Dunleavy. Back to Dang. Now the feed to Heinrich. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. Dang can't get it to go. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. LeBron dishes to Battier. Makes the lead pass. Here's Cole. Kicks it out to Allen. Allen, right side. It's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Here's Cole. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Bulls lead by eight. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter.